Hello everyone, I'm a Russian muckle lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as Russia. So last time, we took Russian, a little portion of Russian South Borneo. I want to go to war with Pontianaki, South Borneo, so we can get Western presents. So we can get their precious metals, and they are allied with Kutai as well, but whatever. Um, I think I said in the last episode, I do want to take out Qing China sometime. But unfortunately, we have really, really good relations with them right now, so which means I can't go to war with them. And they're in the middle of their war against Heavenly Kingdom, which is, well, they're doing okay against... Actually, that's a lot of brigades for the Heavenly Kingdom. Holy cow, 157 versus 49? And apparently America is trying to spear Japan, but it's not going so well so far. And I'm also trying to lower my infamy as well, because infamy is really hitting us hard. Like, 15 infamy to do some stuff. I mean, like, get a protectorate or concessions. That's a lot of infamy. That's a lot. But anyways, Persia. Hope you're all having a great day. <clears throat> Hopefully I can speak better than yesterday for some reason. Sometimes some episodes, I just cannot speak. But we do have quite a bit of money. Now, also last time we crushed the Hungarian rebellions, which was awesome. We crushed some rebellions in the Caucasus region, which was also awesome. You need to go bye-bye so I can make another better army. Oh. Why do I... Hello? What the heck? Who are you guys? Regulars? Um, I don't know where you guys came from, but okay. Sure. Why not? Let's go ahead and build... You know what? Put the rally point now over here, because I definitely, definitely, definitely want to go to war with China sometime. Alright, let's make another good army. One, two, three, four, five. Well, make it four. One, two, three, four, five. If the Bilo Russians die in, in Asia, you know, it is no problem for us. And Azerbaijani. Great. Great. Now we're doing it relatively okay. We got 10% of our population can read. Which is, you know, it's, it's not the best, but it's not bad. Could be could be much better. Ooh, intellectuals. What is the percentage of people in Ingria who are intellectuals? <clears throat> 1.9. I think two sometimes is optimal. Sometimes you might want 4%. 2% intellectual points is not bad. Oh, you're done with beer fest. Great. Where is my administrative button? Let's see. There it is. Cool. And as you can see, the lighter the green, like the brighter the green, the better. Uh, you probably throw some bureaucrats over here. And of course, I will move those intellectuals over somewhere else eventually. Uh, and they're going to help against the rebellion. Uh, I would love to go to war, but we're at, because we did the Peking Convention to get all of this territory, it kind of cut into us a little bit. I'll go ahead and expand some forts around here. That'd probably be a good idea. Because the Chinese will attack us once we attack them. They'll try to take our lands. So. But, you know what? In the meantime, give me your precious metals, for the love of God. Oh, I need... Oh, I need less infamy. I don't like that. I really don't like that. It doesn't look like the Heavenly Kingdom will win, though. Usually they lose. Historically, they did lose because Heavenly Kingdom is a Chinese guy who thought he was like the brother of Jesus or something, and it didn't work out so well. But if he won in real life, that would have made the world really weird, probably. Oh, they're all the way over there. Holy cow. Gold. Oh, nice. Where is that? Kasilov. Oh, oh. Oh, oh it's Alaska. Hello there. I forgot we had Alaska. We're not driven by the drivel, provoked by this drivel. Landowners incite the peasantry. Crush the revolters. Yeah, you can, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't piss off the peasantry. You know, the peasantry are the peasantry for a reason. They're somewhat important. Gold rush, nice. That's really cool. But still, no one wants to come here, so. Does strict discipline from Polish soldiers? Demand the strictest discipline. Ah, uh, demand strict discipline. We don't want to be too overly harsh. Because we might have to put them down someday. Neo-Kantian ideas. Cool. I guess we got more prestige. Oh, I, I, we, we built roads, but... I, oh my god, I need more education. I just need to get more education stuff. I uh, built in the ports there. That's... Oh. Oh. I forgot about you guys. Um, For now, you can take off one of your... Uh, let's see. Probably one of these guys. There you go. Send you to the east. Far east. All the way right there. We have another little guy right there. Gradno. I'm sending you over here too. 
Oh, wait, unless someone... Unless one of our divisions or brigades needed that. Let's see. Yeah, you guys can come right there. Oh, no. You guys come there. You guys come there. Yeah, they have the market for it. Cordial. Come on, Ottomans. We're buddies. We're buddies. Oh, wait. Is Korea rebelling? Oh, who are you? Cash... Garia. All right. Well, no. Korea looks pretty normal. Looking pretty darn normal over there. Nice. Hmm, you guys are looking okay-ish. Oh, well, Lashia. Cool. Let's go ahead and take their lands from them, because they don't need it. I think we should be okay, as long as we're not caught immediately. We can still do it. We're trying to get some medicine, too, which is nice. Nice stuff. We should be in the clear by now, since it's already been a... Not even ten days. Oh, my goodness. Alright, so that should be okay, then. Wow, China looks like a flippin' mess. Okay, okay. I can deal with that. 12.8, that's not bad. Anything... Just make sure it's less than 25, because... Oh, my goodness. Are yeah, you guys heading over? That's good. Send you all over as well. Good. Uh, sure. Oh, wait. You're not the Turks. You're not... You're independent. Actually... Who are you? And why do I like you so much? Hmm. You know what? We'll do that. Even though I kind of want to take him out, I might be able to use him against the Qing Chinese. Eventually, of course. Eventually. Oh, what's going on? P Ping Nan Guo becomes a puppet. Ping Nan. Oh, you. That's Yunnan. Oh, we know that. Oh, they. People are trying to rebel in Qing China. That is not good for Qing China. Oh, they're out. They're fighting these guys too. Oh, Manchuria now part of the Dungong Revolt. Annex. No, another part. Of, oh, that's disgusting, British India. That's disgusting. But now we got a lot of inf infamy we got to deal with. Hmm, don't like it. UK. Definitely Prussia likes us. Austria kind of likes us. Oh, we got better supply limits. Great. America. That's always good to do. Autumn buddies? What's going on? Oh, wait. We're not buddies anymore. Oh. Persia. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not really paying attention to that. Too much culture. I gotta get more education. It's 1851, though. And I need to do naval plans, because there's a decision here for us to get the Lao Dong lease, which we need naval plans, we need high seas battle fleet, or revolution and counter-revolution, or steel railroad, or machine guns. We're just gonna take time. We get infamy, and we want the, basically, I think, Port Arthur, so that's gonna take some time. That's definitely gonna take some time. We can't do it yet, so I really don't wanna do it like this, but I'm gonna need more of this. I need more education efficiency. Really need that stuff. What are we doing? Civilization level. Jodhpur, very cool. Alright. Cool. Oh, we got some North Germans there in Ingria, too, huh? 2.4%, not bad. Oh, look at that! Aerial actor and antiseptic principle. Great, we get just a tiny, tiny bit more population growth. Oh, that's really hurting our budget right now. That's okay, though. I want just a little bit more, just a tiny bit more, of intellectual support. That's what I want. And there, there, which is doing great. Yeah, I want a bureaucrats for all the, all the you know, sub-regions, and then one for intellectuals. I think that, that would do us pretty darn well. Good, good, good. Industrial score? We're 100. We used to be 102, but now we're 100. Which doesn't make any sense to me, but now we can go to war with Pontianak. I should have waited to do that. That's okay. Let's just go ahead and go to war since I think we're ready. Oh, yeah. Stop the protectorate. Good, good, good. Did we, we already raised our conscription level or army level. Whatever, whatever. 
Oh, good. More population growth. Genetics, genetics heredity. Oh, God. At first I thought, I saw all this UK stuff, and I'm like, holy cow. Did the UK intervene in my war? What's going on? UK, what are you doing? So, it's, I guess, us versus that. E Asian puppet. America versus Japan. Taiping and rebelling. They're going to put down Heavenly Kingdom. Dungang Revolt. They're going to probably win against them. Saudi Civil War. That's cool. And then we have the Second Opium War. What? They can negotiate an unequal treaty? Come on, man. That's not cool. I want to do that so badly. Oh, they even have Prussia and Sweden. Why is everyone beating them up? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yes. March Prussia. March all the way through Russia to get to China. Yes. You're lucky we're buddies. Hmm, can I get some military access? Probably not. Well, I'm glad I still have my ships down here. Oh. Cool. Nice. Ah, precious metals. Very good. That should make us just a little bit richer, but then again, we gotta pull this down. Middle class aren't looking super great. Now, a couple exports that we have. Our top three imports are fruit, wool, and fish. Ooh, I still want to go to Africa, though. I want at least, like, worry as a, like, colonial nation. The Her Hermitage. They're collecting collection in the Hermitage, built after the plans of Leo von Klenz, opened in St. Petersburg. It made available to the public some of the finest and most precious pieces of art to be found in all of Russia. Oh, I love it. So prestigious. Oh, we're dropping in. Um, score. Oh, that's not good. Administrative button. Thank you. You guys. Get those bureaucrats. Oh, we got a little... Orsk population, very nice. A little bit more here. We're 2.8, that's good enough for me for now. Come to Moscow. Wherever it is. Thank you. Better job. Better job? Oh, Wallachia, of course. Portanto, Tha. Huh. LMNOP. Yeah. Persia starts with P, usually. Nice, very nice. We're not making that much money, but that's okay. What's going on here? Cool. Alright. Show Wars. What is that? Zemin? What the hell is Gondor? Gondor? Shiva? Asa? Los Altos. Oh, the Americans are involved, too. Interesting. God dang it. Turks. Turks. We're supposed to be your buddies. Why do you hate us? Oh yeah, they def the Chinese have definitely won against the um, these guys. Yep. And as soon as we come over, they're gone. Alright, not bad, not bad. Do we need or have another cannon coming along somewhere here? New? No. Well, that's not good. Oh, we'll build a Manchu cannon right here. Very nice. Alright, so our top three exports. Hmm. God, it takes so long to get this up. When did we get empiric empiricism? Uh, 1860. Cool. Cool. Uh, Ottomans are looking pretty good, though. Looking pretty good. Uh oh, what's going What's this? Netherlands. Why do we want to ally the Netherlands? Hmm. Hmm. Saxony, sure. I've, oh, look at that. Oh, they're fighting all those guys. That, right? Oh, that's not good. Oh, the UK is in the war. Hmm. What? Is this a brother's war going on right now? Yeah. Admit hegemony. Oh, that is not good. I, oh, I'm not allied with either one of them, so. I don't want to see pressure lose. Because I want the balance of peace to stay okay. I'm going to offer you war subsidies for now. Now, this could be good. This could be bad. If Prussia comes out as vic victorious, then they're definitely going to be the guys we want to ally with. If they are not victorious, then we're going to beat the snot out of them. It's all about diplomacy. Keep good relations until you have to have bad relations. Now, the, the UK might be interesting. Let's see. No. But the French are involved, which... Oh, well, they... The Prussia's... No, that's not good. 
Bavaria. Um, I'm okay. I really don't want to get involved in your German affairs. I really don't care, to be honest. I really, really, really don't care. Afghanistan. You know what? Afghanistan. Oh, God. It looks like the Prussians aren't doing well. Ah, they're getting taken out by the Austrians. Oh, God. There's a little bit of... Is that French? Yep, that's French. Oh, boy. Oh, even the French invaded Ireland. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Let's see what happens with this. I mean, I can't do anything since I don't have a lot of infamy to spare. So, the islands of Sakhalin and the Krills are a natural extension of our holdings. In Okhotsk and Kamchatka, and we must seek to claim these lands before the Japanese do. Cool. Absolutely. Can I do anything about these lands yet? Can I put my claim on them? Oh, how about over here? No, can not. Okay, so then with white piece. Okay. <clears throat> for some... Probably a miner. Oh, probably for these small miners. Oh, oh god, the Prussians. Yeah, that's why sometimes you don't want to ally the UK, because sometimes they're just really not good. But I don't want a huge Austria, either. Eh, maybe, we'll see what happens. Yeah, the Prussians are definitely going to lose this war. <clears throat> but just because you lose one war doesn't mean the game's over. Then again, I should tell myself that when I play EU4. Whew. Oh yeah, they're... Nah. Right. This is turning inter very, very interesting. Hmm. France seem pretty strong right now. They pieced out another little puppet, it looks like. I'm, I'm surprised that the UK, though, was doing this poorly. 181 score. Uh, Hanover better pay their debts. For oh my gosh, that's really bad. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Brunswick is out. Yeah, they're done. The Prussians are done. Oh my goodness. Hopefully they just white piece out or Russia's or Prussia's done for the rest of the game. Maybe maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's only 1853. Oh, come on. Well, I mean I did want to expand influence somewhere else. Which makes sense. Everyone loves Persia. Ah, the Oregon Treaty. Nice. Compromise. America, you are no longer at war with Japan. And they didn't want to be your puppet. Ooh, wow, America, come on. And when is America going to do the Gadsden Purchase? Hmm. Tar Tartar Nationalists. Who the hell are you? Alright, put them down, boys. Put them down. They just have a lot of guys with rifles. Actually, I'll probably delete this army. Cool and do. Oh, hello. Who are you? It doesn't matter. You're gonna go bye bye. So we have you. We have you. We have you. You guys come right there. I'm another army now. Let's grab you. And then one, two, three, uh, four. There's a lot of Russians now. Awesome. That's good. A lot more Russians than I imagined. For the army. The Tartar nationalists? Yeah, no. I mean, you might take that province, but not for long. Awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. We're done there. Bureaucrats. Nice. We're beating them up. Great job, guys. Great job. Cool. Afghanistan. Ah. Uh, Russia and Afghanistan. No, oh boy, what's going on? Nothing of interest to us. Nothing of interest, yeah. So, what demands are they going to have? I don't see anything over here. Oh, even the Dutch... Come on, the Dutch joined? That's so mean. Just joined late. Uh, I'm really disappointed in the UK, though. They haven't done very much. Yeah, they're still at war. They took their lands back from the French, including Ireland. Nope, and Persia. Persia. There you are. What, what are they at? The friendly. Come on, decrease your opinion with the UK, not us. We haven't done anything wrong with you. 
Who knows? If Persia gets... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm putting them down like they deserve. The poles must be put down. They are very industrious. We need them. Good. Good. Ah, very nice. A cup of Russian coffee. From hopefully our one of our colonies. Oh my goodness. I've never seen the Austrians do so well. Then again, I never play with HPM. Cool. Uh, I guess we could expand the fort, so that's okay. Oh yeah. So yeah. I really want this peace deal to end. I really want this war to end just to see what happens. Uh oh god, they're level eight. No, that's not good. Alright, are they purposely like not being friendly to us now or something? No, the United Baltic Duchy looks pretty good. But my goodness, it takes so long to get bio biologism education stuff. Ugh. Moscow. Intellectuals, not enough. I want even more. Alright, not bad. Oh, beer crests are done. Oh boy, they're going to need some bureaucrats here. There's zero percent in Poland. Of course, they did just rebel. So culture comp, crackdown thingy, population change, bide our time, organize a crackdown. That sounds like fun. It's always fun, like cracking down on people. You know, always fun. All right, so I don't know. I mean, this is po really Polish territory. I'm not really sure if I can really raise bureaucrats up here too much. But Poles are not accepted cultures in our lands, which is eh, could be worse. Still at war. Yeah, I'm not really sure if we'll be able to. We'll come back and see that in a little bit. If it's not, if it hasn't risen by that much, then we're gonna swap it out with something else. Almost done. Twelve percent of our people can read. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, our population is 73 million people. That's a lot of people. Nice. Even more population growth. Ah, oh, vaccinations. We can get vaccines. Ah, oh, good stuff. Hawaii grants extraterritoriality. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. Hawaii. They're in the American sphere. I really don't care about Hawaii. I mean, I have other things that we should probably get to first, so. Commerce. Freedom of trade. Allows some factories. Organized factories. Industry. I want railroads. Oh, but this could help us get more national focuses first. But we have even more education efficiency. Yes, please. Cholera spreads. That is really not ideal. Oh, even more education efficiency. Great. Alright, I'll give them like three months. If I don't even have like 0.1% more, we're cutting them off. It's an encore state, Northern Core province in the state, so that's probably why. Um, let's see. Oh, the Polish. Oh my god, this is exactly what I was thinking. So, after the latest war, our subjects in Poland and other parts of our empire began to grow restless. The uprising began as a spontaneous protest by young Poles against conscription into the Russian army. It was soon joined by higher ranking Polish Lithuanian officers and various politicians. In Warsaw alone, 116 demonstrations were held in 1855. Much of these manifestations in ended in clashes with the Russian army. In spite of Russian police interference, a symbolic meeting of him singing Poles and Lithuanians took place on the bridge across an important river. The crowd sang God Protect Poland in Lithuanian and Belarusian. Early in 1855, the Russian government introduced a state of emergency in Kovno and Grodno, as well as other Polish-majority provinces. Public gatherings were banned and some public leaders were declared outlaws. The situation threatens to break down in anarchy. Suppress them immediately, which Poland rebels, it looks like, and we have to fight them, so be it. And let them be free. No. Onwards to Poland. Do I play as Poland? Uh. Well. So be it. The Poles have made their decision. Lower that just by a little bit. That's good. Great. Alright, Poland. You wanted this. I try to be, you know, fairly balanced ish. Ish. A little bit. And you got rid of my bureaucrats. How dare you! Couldn't do that. Start coring some of that colonized place. Place we're trying to colonize. Oh look, they're dying. Good. Oh, the United Baltic Duchy came in to help me. Awesome. And we took out Warsaw. Hmm. 
Mm, now, because of this, I really want to crack down on the poles. Very nice, very nice. Neutral, whatever. Kaliz. Very good. Also, this... Whatever happens to Prussia, Austria is always going to be a powder keg because of all the Balkans that they own and all the different minorities they own, which makes it very interesting to play against Austria. So, because even for us, like, we have Polish rebels, they're going to have different types of rebels as well. Obviously, Hungarian rebels, but they're going to have Ukrainian rebels, maybe, some Czech rebels. So, uh, it's going to be so interesting to watch. Uh, oh, Rebels and Minch. Uh, you know what? That's not a bad thing. If they... Eh, it's only three. It really doesn't matter too much. Am I making... Yeah, I, okay, okay. I was wondering if we're going to take forever with those armies or not. Cool. We have a little bit of money, which is always good to have. Money is always a little nice. To, oh, my goodness. What the hell happened to you? Oh, I got to help you up. Build you up, my friend. Oh, did you help me, Austria? Oh, what's going on here? Oh boy. So they annex them. Austria has a white piece. Oh, Prussia's done. Did they... Did they lose anything? They might have had a release on halt. That's... Oh, yeah, maybe I should have clicked too early. That's... That's not bad. Oh, they have no prestige and no military score. They're not even great power anymore. But other than that, I mean, Prussia will come back probably pretty quickly. And if they do... I hope they come back and remember that we gave them war subsidies. Mm. Alright, let's do this. UK, I really don't care about being friendly with you. France, yes. Austria is looking pretty good now. Okay, they really don't like us. Are you at war? Wait, the Ottomans are at war. Sinus, oh, Libya. I think. Uh, who are you? Oh, no, not the Jacobins. All right. Yeah, no. Poland? No. Bad Poland. Bad Poland. Oh, God. Oh, no. All these... Oh, these German miners are free. Why? <laughs> no. The Polish rebellion, though, is crushed. Traugut, Traugut, the insurrection general, and four other members of the Polish government were apprehended by the Russian troops and executed at the Warsaw Citadel. In the course of the war, several battles and skirmishes were fought, and some 25,000 Poles were killed. The Russian king passed laws and edicts to make the land an integral part of the Russian Empire's territory, and all that remains now is to decide the fate of the rebels. There will be harsh reprisals. Be lenient with them. Loose... Crack them down. Get rid of them. Those rebels deserve nothing. Sinusi... Baden, Austria, oh god, now, oh boy. That's gonna make one strong France. No, German miners, I don't wanna be your ally. <laughs> I already have enough problems, no. Uh, how are the national focuses? Ah, uh, Schleswig-Holstein, well, we might not see Germany in this campaign for a very, very long time. Uh, oh, Kiva, sure, yeah, Kiva's fine. All right, so I think that's enough. Where's my population? Oh, there's a lot of population down in Moscow, of course. What percentage? Do we have intellectuals? 3.3%. That's not bad. Coquelin. You guys. I don't mind doing this as well. No. Uh, no, I don't want bureaucrats. I want these guys from Moscow. Good. 13% of population can read. Very nice. Oh, my. Wait, who are you guys? Oh, my God. P Nationalists. Oh, that's not good. Eaten by cannibals. Blast. No. Is that Venezuela? Colombia. No, I, I think we'll be okay. I don't really want to mess in those affairs down there. That really doesn't sound like a lot of fun to me. Oh, wait. It's 1855. Eventually, we're going to end up potentially in a war against France and the UK. It's something about the Ottomans. I really don't want to get involved. But then again, the British weren't that strong. Jacobin rebels. Uh, Afghanistan, I did spear you, so I mean, that's fine with me. Oh my god, really. Jacobin rebels. Seriously, man? Oh, thank you very much. 
We should be okay without... Oh, they're all over here, pretty much. That's okay, then. They're still conservatives. They still have monarchies. They haven't killed off the Kaiser yet. Just killing off a bunch of these guys. That's good. Qing China. Oh, come... Why do they get that? Why, why, why do they get Shandong? <clears throat> Let's decrease relations again, just because we can. No. Decisions. There's for G and stuff. Peasant... Oh, nice. You know, their focus. Great. Peasant reforms. We need more militancy. The years after 1870. My goodness. The rulers of the East. State and government. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks good. We need state and government. The return to Third Rome. Rusify the area. Hmm. Well, state... Oh, we're going to do state and government right now. That's not bad. I do want to maybe get some... Factories? I don't know if that would be possible for us to use, though. I really want to get factories. I'm not exactly sure how to get factories as Russia. State and government, though. Get another... Uh, we'll do that one first. Why not? Alright, so we... What is that? Morocco? Morocco? What the heck? Morocco? Persia. I almost instantly know it's always going to be Persia for that. Okay, so we have our military guys building. They're taking a while to do. We need more artillery. Let's see. So just buy a ton. Now that the wars are over, probably there's less demand for this. I really don't care. Just buy as much as we possibly can right now. That's going to hurt our money, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Do that. Bureaucrats. Good. That is... Sure, the historical American-Russian alliance. Belgium is no longer a great power. Uh, Lippe de Dittmond. Lubeck, that looks like Poland, but whatever. And is Prussia back? Prussia's back. Oh, they even beat two Sicilies. Nice. Better army hospitals. Very cool, very cool. Uh, America. Nothing like an American-Russian alliance. Cool. Incorporating a nuked factory. <gasps> yeah! We get a factory? No? Brutally force people off their land? Not a very Russian thing to do. Yeah, it is. Hell yeah. Of course we're going to brutally push them off their own land. Heck yeah. Uh, but, oh, uh, did you lie to me? I don't, I don't get a factory now? Oh, come on, man. Nassau, it's been attacked. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot. I almost forgot about this. How could I forget about the most integral part of our colonial lands? Even though this isn't even a colony. Nice, okay. Whew. Uh, sure, why not? Ooh, more plurality is always good to have for us. Very nice. Sant Santo Domingo. Oh, you guys need... Mm. Can I build any more artillery here? Oh my god. France, Austria, what did you, have you done? You broke... You broke the Germans. you do with that duty. Uh, do they have enough population here to maybe even build another like brigade? We really don't. It's fine. What is Austria up to? Oh, on Hut? Oh yeah, that's fine. Does anyone even like the Greeks in this campaign? Not really. I'll say not for now. Holy set disturbed. Who gives a hoot about their religion? It's... That's their religion, you know? Whatever. Could use a little bit more money. Probably lower this just by a little bit. Good. Increase construction. Nice. Persia. Pretty good. And two Sicilies. Sure. Okay, they really hate us. Oh, we're not even allied, so. Who are you? You know, I wanted you earlier, but now I don't want you. Why are you so mean to me? Danish liberation of... Okay, so this is weird now. They want Schleswig. Oh, it's weird when Prussia and Austria are in the same, you know, alliance together. And it's not like they're trying to fight Napoleon or anything. No, no, no. Why did you break them? Guys, why did you break them so hard? All right, maybe more administrative. Co go all the way up. I want as much administration stuff as, as much as possible. 
Cool. Uh, colonial stuff. It's looking a little bit better, actually, for uh, this stuff. Persia. My Persia. Our general died. That's unfortunate. You're looking pretty good there. Bureaucrats. Awesome. More bureaucrats. Good, good, good. Demand concession. Oh. No. Uh, intellectuals. In Kursk. And we have 1.5. That's not enough. Research points. I want even more. More, 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 more. That's looking pretty good. That's getting better. Over here we have colonial exploitation, which is always fun to have. <sighs> Those guys. Alright, cool. And our army's trying to finish up. Down here. Good. Takes a while to do. <clears throat> Good, getting more liberal support. Just barely more liberal support, which is fine. Could use more, though. Oh, they have a lot of allies. Ah, uh, it doesn't mean they're strong, though. Kingdom of Jason. Hmm. I'm going to need a lot of armies around here to take these guys out. Which will be fine. Which will, of course, be fine. But still. Let's see. Oh, we have another army up here. I didn't realize that. Wallachia, you guys are looking okay-ish. Not really that great. Money went down a little bit. Whatever. Nice, you're done there. Even more life rating. Great. Bureaucrats. Tons of bureaucrats everywhere. Uh, Sweden, who are you fighting? The M Mughal Empire. Why are you fighting the Mughal Empire? Oh, nationalism and imperialism sounds like a lot of fun. Bias Multiculturalism. Manifest Destiny. National Fraternity. Huh. I definitely want better army stuff, and especially better roads, but let's get some... Uh, get freedom of trade. At least get some sort of freedom of trade. Let's do the rulers of the East, though. So, in July of 1860, the port of Vladivostok, or the ruler of the East, was founded near the Korean frontier. It would become a major Russian trade port and shipbuilding yard. Eventually, it would become the first... The focal point of an intercontinental railroad as well as a major scientific, cultural, and industrial center in its own right. But Tsar dreamed that the city would become a hub connecting the west with the east. Perhaps the railroad to Vladivostok will eventually replace the Suez Canal as the bearer of goods and new and raw materials between the east and the west. Uh, how do we do this one? We need... Huh. Social science at least. Cool. We get 8 li life rating and get places as cores and prestige. Love it. Abolish your caucus thingamabob. Interesting. Expel the Chinese. Nationalism and imperialism. Hmm. Interesting. Administrative stuff over here. Give me some bureaucrats over here. That should be okay-ish. No. Oh, God. Oh, they're trying to kill out, kill out the Mughals. Whatever. Typhoid fever. Stuff breaks. People die. You know, normal stuff. No, 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 no. Great powers. Cool. I keep increasing relations with them, but it doesn't really even matter. We're, oh god, we're number four in the world. Better pay your debts, Paraguay. Don't make me show up. Can I even... I can't even get down there. Wow. South America looks... Somewhat South American. Wow. Let's see. When can I build another army? Do we have another division or brigade moving over there yet? Uh, Jacobin levels. Curtail distribution. You need another infantry. Oh, railroads, yeah. Got some railroads there. Give me one infantry guy here. A Manchu infantry. Oh god, what's going on? Oh, they have demand that... Annex them. Cool. More political reform desire is always good. Awesome. 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 We're trying to liberalize as much as possible. We have 15% of our population that can read, which is great. It is almost 1860, which sucks, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Good. Bureaucrats are done. More administrative stuff. 
You guys looking pretty good. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, War of Chinese Reunification. That makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, man. I would hate to live there. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a lot of different cultures down here. It seems like a big old problem. Commission a warship. Uh, I mean, that's okay. I don't want to spend my money on this stuff. Warships? We'll build one. We'll build one. How about that? We'll build one warship. We have a little bit of money we can spend. So that seems okay. Max that out, which is great. Oh, good. We can maybe build a factory, maybe? Maybe? Inorganic chemistry. More population growth. Uh, maybe better railroads. Mm. Mm. Prestige could always be nice. Ah, uh, nationalism and imperialism, because that's always good to do. Oh, better ports here, that'd be good. Nope, the sound dues. The UK called for a convention over the use of the Danish Straits, and we, as one of the great powers of the world, are obliged to attend. After a positive resolution, British diplomats are now trying to gather the remaining money to pay for the deal and argue that our ships and our commerce, in general, stand posed to greatly benefit from the opening of the Danish Straits. Based on this, they argue that we should contribute to the in indemnifications owed to the Danish Strait controllers. We are, of course, not bound by this. We can refuse, but doing so would not only hurt image in the eyes of other countries, it would also anger the UK. They would feel that we are indebted to them. We refuse to pay anything. I get prestige. Yeah, why not? But we're going to end that episode there because we are pretty much out of time. What has happened in this campaign? Well, we haven't done too much yet in this episode. Uh, what did we do? We took out, we got some precious metals, which is always very awesome to get. And we have the spoil system, which is whatever. Uh, we have been building ourselves up in Asia more. We've been really making sure that our... Oh, what is that? Pay 100,000. Cool, sound tools are polished. We've really made sure we have enough bureaucrats. We have 50% literacy for our entire population. Prussia has been walloped pretty hard, but that's pretty much it. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow, as we hopefully will expand our war and have a great time in Europe and Asia. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.